already? Oh. Yeah. Don't anybody say anything naughty. Oh, it's <laughs> okay. Say anything. Because we're lying. I think naughty. they just love that, like, the before mess. <laughs> <laughs> So we're live. I think so. it's always good to be live, yes. right? Yes. If alive. anybody wants I'm to alive. tell alive. me if we're sideways again, please yeah, feel let free us to know do so. If we're sideways, or if you can hear us. Do we want to get on Facebook on my computer and look at it? Oh, I see something you got it. there and see. So yeah, look right. at your Facebook there, Emerald, and see if we're sideways. <laughs> I think no, we're not. We're not. <laughs> now we just need to know if we have sound. Right? Yeah. Right? Let me see. I'm assuming we have sound. I, but we have to help find out. Okay. Oh, yeah, we have sound. Yay! Yay. Nice. Hey. Sound! sound. <laughs> Not laying on our sides. <laughs> We're rolling. <laughs> okay. 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 So, today, welcome to Facebook Live. With us, our table talk. Yay. We have Robin. Robin. And Anna. And myself, Sandy. So, we're happy to be here with you today. Um, we mentioned last week that we had our employee celebration. That was oh, fun. that was so much fun. It was, it was fun. It was fun. It uh, definitely um, recharged us. I will, <laughs> I will not be teaching how to make the project bags. <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever finish my project bag. Yes, oh, I, I will. Finished mine. I yes, finished you mine. will. Kathy, will you get out of the back room our project bags, some of the project bags we made? Oh, so, um, some of us were more talented than others. <laughs> At our project bags, but Anna was no, a great teacher. Some were more experienced than others. Yes. Everybody's talented. That's true. That's my, true. Yeah, my machine just didn't like me. Yeah, so. your machine didn't like you that no. night. No, nope. so and I had forgot to bring my machine, so I was sewing on my little featherweight. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to blame any flaws right. on the machine. No, but Although it, I love it, my featherweight. Right, it looked great. But, but you finished it. I did. Yeah, I finished yes. mine. So I'm going to show you just a few of them here because um, they turned some people out did so cute. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm I'm the only one that, that didn't from before. Okay, no, you're not the only one that didn't. Kathy, are yours in here? Yeah, Kathy. Oh, my aren't. But my yours are done, aren't they? They're done. But Kathy I... did hers. She did well, hers. No, Anna did mine. <laughs> <laughs> did. Okay, so we've talked about how we all enable Kathy. <laughs> yes. Right. We did that night continues. as well. The saga <laughs> continues with enabling Kathy. So, this was the one that I did, and it's this cute fabric. It's got the scissors on it. That's Anila Hui. Is that how you? Say? I don't know how you say her name. I, yeah. But um, that's her collection from Moda. So I did those, and this was Anna's. Right. <laughs> Always sewing notions. Yep, with a little <laughs> print with a little pin. Now this is Anila who is yeah, too. that's the, the and then the print. interior has little. You can't hardly see it, but it's a gray tone on tone that has scissors. I think that's, that's a Riley Lori, Blake. Lori Holes. Yeah, so that's a fun piece. And this is this yours, Robin? No, that no. one's Leslie's. That's okay, Leslie's. this is Leslie's that she did. And what's this collection called? Love oh, notes. Love, love yeah. notes. Yes, this is a Moda collection called Love Notes. Are they like a same collection? The in, yes, yeah, the the okay. both fabrics are from that. Okay, so that's kind of fun. And then this one was Shauna's. Shauna's. Oh. So our two newest employees, our prize students, were our prize students. <laughs> Definitely, Shana. they're more obedient. That that's why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. What are you saying about me? Yeah, <laughs> they were obedient, and they weren't like, well, I don't know. <laughs> They just did what they were they told. They just did what they were told. <laughs> they did good. They all sit very close to Anna. <laughs> that's right? True. That's true. That's true. Hey, so I that made fun. myself available for <laughs> <laughs> Although she was tied up a little bit with Kathy's project. Well, Kathy's still part of it, didn't she? She did yes. some. She yes. did some. She did she some did. of that, you know. Some, she did some. Yeah. <laughs> so, but regardless of whether we got our bags made, we had a good time. Oh, yes. The Great food time. was good. Food was fabulous. Blast. Anna made us teriyaki chicken and rice, yes. and I did a what we call uh, Casper's yeah. salad, which was, was a wonton was salad. Delicious! Oh, oh so good. And we got orange rolls from the bakery here at Gardner Village, and they were yummy. Oh, and eclairs and from Carol's Pastries. Now, if you have not had the eclairs from Carol's Pastries, highly recommend them. Oh my word! So they are so yummy. So, so delicious. Yes, I took the leftovers home. <laughs> ate one in the car <laughs> on the way home and I also happened to eat one in the car 
on the way here after I picked up the pastries. <laughs> Good so for you. You should. So, anyway. It's not like you eat those every day. So no, you, you don't. got to get them while and you can. If you don't know, I mean, Carol's Pastries has been in business 70 years. These guys have been, these two men, they're brothers, I believe, aren't they, Kathy? They have been making pastries for 70 years. Wow. They are in their 90s. Are and they serious? still get up every morning and go to mm. the bakery. So wow. they're in Sugar House in Utah. Fabulous. Delicious. Okay. So, Okay. Robin, let's talk about a few things you've been working on. Okay, so I did this one back before my back injury, but um, we have these cute little kits. This is just one of the Kim Dill um, whatnots, and we have kits. Did you see it? And it's called Midnight. It's called Midnight, and we have a bunch of those. So. Yeah. And then my other, oh, did you the want to The thing I like about, about this, mm -hmm. Kim Dill, this is not a coloring. Yeah. That you would normally look at and say, oh, that's Kim Deal. Because it just has a few colors and it's just like really it. cute. I'm I'm really happy with the way it yeah. turned out. Yeah. It's really cute. It's cute. So then my other, this is my second cross stitch finish. I start Yay. a lot. So it's this <laughs> cute pattern. I was so pleased. But this is my struggle. Now, how do I finish it? Because I don't want a pillow. Mm -hmm. So I need like Just advice fine. on how to finish this. How would you mm -hmm. finish that? Well, oh, I would probably frame it myself. Yeah. I think that would probably fit in a standard five by seven. Like nice. That, which would be nice. That or would be four by six. Really good. Or four by six. But, you know, I'm super happy with that's it. That's fun. Did a lot of the stitching on our family Christmas tree hunt where we go and cut down our Christmas trees every year. Oh, that's so fun. I did that <laughs> once. <laughs> yeah. So I've only fun. done it once. You know, we, <laughs> you know, we travel clear up to Bear Lake, mm -hmm. Idaho, and um, get our inexpensive $15 tree but it costs a lot to get there and you spend the whole weekend <laughs> with lots of family and fun and so, so yeah. yeah can't beat that no it's, it's awesome it's memories yeah you can put price in it yeah. the best memories so <laughs> so just letting you know we are going to be talking about a new cross stitch club for next year but first we're going to go with that it's me I did a cross stitch too which it is finished but also needs a frame and this one it's by Lori Holt, her snowman. And hers was done on kind of a tannish mm -hmm. background. But for some reason that color, I don't know, doesn't speak to me. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> so really I did cute. like I think it might have been light gray or something. I, I don't it, know, one of the yeah, grays it could be we Icelandic have here. Gray or yeah. Graceful gray. One of those. We have some really pretty gray eight o'clock. And mm -hmm. I think the white showed up pretty well, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. that was the, concern, yeah. the only concern, but I kind of like it. Cute. I bought the frame a couple days ago. It's kind of like that grayish, mm. blue grayish. Mm -hmm. So now it just needs to be framed. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> it will go great. <laughs> it will be great. The other thing, we're working on our book of the months. And this is just really a preview. We haven't finalized much on it. So here is the whole look of it. So that's the original of the pattern. And it's a snowman nativity. My kids are still kind of young to have grandkids, but I'm one of those who plans for the future, I don't know. I saw this and I thought, wouldn't that be nice to make it for my grandkids to play on the floor and it's learn such about good the story? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, whatever, whatever you take. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so the first one will be the angel's row. Here is just a little bit big. And yesterday I did kind of work on the sure. colors for it mm -hmm. and I haven't got the approval of the boss yet, but I like, <laughs> I like what I see. Well, she's yeah. liking it, so look so at that. So that will be kind of the two angels and their wings. The snowman, will, of course, will be white, but it has little triangles. I don't know if that will be yeah. seen well. well but, tall, tall, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Okay, but yeah. I kind of like that. We didn't have a dot that I like, so we went with triangles. And that kind of will be the stars, I the like big it. star in the middle and the surrounding ones. A little bit of bling. Yeah. A little bit of sparkle so in there. So that's the choices for the row. And the borders, I totally went different on the borders. Yeah, I'm going to love that. So the stop mm -hmm. border and the binding will be this red, which that doesn't change much. We changed the other border from a stripe to this 
plat or I don't Diane, know diamond, diamond kingdom, I don't know. Yeah. kinda yeah. And Just then to... we didn't really wanna invest too much in the quilting so we went with this beautiful snowflake so the quilting can be simple and not as yeah. expensive <laughs> I, and i i just like the idea that there's a pattern to yeah it yeah just it just relying. it kind of i don't know yeah. it changed the feel a bit this is our background which the snowman will play on oh, and i think i think she oh i'm sorry i think she used linen for her where the words are but we're gonna go with this cotton fabric and so stitch shabby. on that. Yeah, that it's right? a shabby, yeah. the gray, mm -hmm. something gray. But so that's our color picks, and we either by the end of this month or mm -hmm. the beginning of next, we should have signups going up right. and stuff. And it's gonna but, be a four-month program. And what yeah. we're gonna do though um, is do every other month because mm -hmm. that way you've we, got time yeah we don't want to overwhelm you with all the stitching it's like and in, in some ways and... it doesn't seem a lot but in the others it does seem a lot so i don't know i decided for my comfort and everybody else every other month yeah. will be more doable so, so it'll be over the span of eight months but yeah it'll be yes. four different kits that are yes. involved so so, and this is how the finish looks like, right? Yeah, that's mm -hmm. how they finished it. Of course, mine will probably look, look much, different. much different. But, so they will but, hand sew on those words? Yes, those yes, are embroidered. Embroidered. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, so that'll yeah. be fun. And I have one more project that I'm working on. It's not progressing as quickly uh, I would like. And I'll show the project first or the sure. fabrics first. Let's show so, what a finished project kind of looks like. So this like. is not the finished project. That's my first one I did. I love doing it. And when we got Sweetwater's timber, is it timber? I think it's called timber. Yeah. Timber line. I really like reminded me of this. So this is the so, pattern we'll be doing. Yeah, that's kind of the pattern. The color's gonna be different. Yeah. The background's still kind of going to be scrappy, low volume, mm -hmm. but so here are the fabrics. I have cut some of the triangles. <laughs> yeah. So kind of the big triangle will be the black with the fishes and so it's going to be the green, the golds, blacks, and then so here are the rest that waiting to be cut. And this is the kind of the background pool. And we'll so, have kits for that. Yeah. So. And I probably can finish the kits before I finish the top. So <laughs> <laughs> that's true. So that's all right. Yeah. 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 Right. So that's for me for now. Awesome. So, yeah. so I just wanted to let you know that Shannon had shown this cute needle minder. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love this needle minder. It's so cute last week that she had on her stitching frame and we now have those back in stock nice so those are a fun little stocking stuffer for a stitcher um and oh and then also i'll mention that we are going to be starting we just got the patterns in there is a monthly um cross stitch being put out by country cottage uh -huh. needleworks and it is called nutcracker village and it is stitched on this yummy 32 count oh, linen that has this silver sparkle running through it. So I actually ordered this fabric in error last year, a whole <laughs> bolt of it, thinking I was just ordering 32 count raw. And I got this 32 count raw silver. And it's been sitting upstairs. And then I saw that that's what they used on this and that it's sold out everywhere. And I was like, <laughs> Hey, you had a premonition. I just or happened something. to have some of that on hand, an entire bowl of that. So Pat has been given the, the first month and she's gonna be starting on it. So we will show that as soon as she has that first block done. And then we will have online the fabric cut and the patterns, and you can sign up for that project each month if you'd like. Okay, drum now, roll. Drum roll. I, I can. <laughs> okay. All right. So this is our year on the hill, the first kit that will be going out. This is a February design. 
that will ship in January. So each month, on the hill you can see it says February in there, um, and each month the month will be um, mowed into the hill there, and then there will be other items that stand upon the hill throughout the year. The kits, your first kit, if you sign up in January, will ship the um, star stand, and that stands about 18 inches tall, and the pattern and all of the notions. It will not include, DM, it's, we're using DMC floss, it will not include the embroidery floss, um, but it will include the chipboard that's used for finishing, any of the trims, we've got rickrack here and some little pom-pom trim on the bottom. The ribbon will be included. Um, and in that first month, I will do a tutorial on finishing. So this program will run through all of 2022. Um, different from last year is that you will get the kits a month ahead. So you'll be stitching in January, you'll be stitching February's. Um, people will be able to get them done and have them on display and not be rushing to get them done. Um, so I think it's going to be fun. So registration is $15. Okay. And it's so last year it was just $5. The reason it's $15 is because it includes your star stand. Nice. So you've got a registration fee which reserves your spot. And we only have a limited number because we only were able to purchase a limited number of star stands. So once you've reserved your spot, you'll be charged that $15. And then in January, you will be charged $17.95 to your card. Um, and then every month after that. So $17.95 for um, the monthly. Nice. Oh, shipping is additional. So when you register online, um, you will select whether you want in-store pickup or shipping. Shipping is $5 each month. Um, so we're happy to ship them or pick up in store and we will get getting these ready. Um, it will ship the first week of each month. Okay. As soon as charges go through, then that's what will happen. Um, um, just to, as a little reminder, when you sign up for one of the block of the months or the monthly club, it is a commitment that you will go throughout the remainder of the year because we plan in advance, we order the supplies in advance. And so you are committing that we can count and on that if, number. If you stop halfway through, we only have a half yeah. kit. <laughs> so it just right. kind of, then so we don't have the first half for this group. So that's just the way it is. So mm -hmm. just Caution. know that that's a commitment. Uh -huh. Do we have, uh, do we know when it will be, like they will be able to subscribe? Give me 30 minutes. <laughs> I got it all in the system last night, uh -huh. but I just realized as Emerald asked that question, I forgot to <laughs> upload the picture, and so I haven't made it live. So as soon as we finish our Facebook Live, I'm going to grab my computer, add the picture, and then it's all ready to go. So within 30 minutes, you can get online and register for this. Nice. So, um, and then it's on the first page of our website. We'll put it on the very front page. Okay. There will be a picture of this and you'll be ready to register. We will be shipping out the first week in January. We are getting them ready as we speak. Yeah, we cut the white trim yesterday. Yep. Cut the rickrack yesterday. We've got some of the pom-pom. We're waiting for some more to arrive, but it'll get here in time. And Super exciting. Ready to go. I think it's adorable. We have boxes and boxes Thank of you. star stands upstairs. I ordered the appropriate box for shipping because I had to Measure that. How are we yeah. going to ship this? And so, <laughs> you but, can put it in the bag. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't fit in a priority mail bag. So, but, so we're really excited. I hope you um, enjoy it. I'm excited. I am so. Sure. It's not really something that we can just join uh, halfway, right? Like no. the second one. No. Yeah. And then because they because will Because the only kits, fit. yeah, we, we assemb we've planned a number. We will be assembling that number of kits. For January and February, shipments mm -hmm. of March, and so as long as registrations are available, mm -hmm. if they don't sell out in January or in December, they'll then you could register and it'll charge you for the back month. It just depends on how fast it sells out. Yeah. So if it doesn't sell out before we have shipped the first month, they'll still be able to register. So, but they if they register in February, they'll get 
January's and February's. So are you gonna have just the pattern available like last year yes. or? I will have the pattern only available. Mm -hmm. um, but I know you always had it like the next week. Yeah, usually. it will It will not release until after kits have shipped. It will be at least a week so that our customers in the club have had a chance to get their projects um, kind of as a bonus for being yeah. part of the club members. Yes. They will get the projects. Um, so the pattern itself won't release till at least the second week of each month. Um, maybe even the third week before that is available for purchase. But okay, perfect. We'll have them ready. So, any other questions, Emerald? Oh, no. Yeah, we have another runner that Table BJ runner. just finished in. Yeah. Finished up. Oh, okay. BJ gets so much stuff. She does get a lot done, doesn't she? <laughs> mm -hmm. So, this is using Kim Dill's Farmhouse Christmas collection, her fabrics, and it's just a really pretty traditional. Um, Christmas runner. Yeah, it's I mean, beautiful. It's really and pretty. I like that you guys didn't use the black for the border. Yeah, I mean, it's like it, it, it was calls just for too dark. black in it, you know. know. But BJ picked this beautiful red from the collection, and so we do have kits um, in stock. Anna, you want to hand me one of those over oh, there? Yeah. They've got the little green bow on them. And we'll show that. Um, so we have a few of these kits left. They are thirty-two ninety-nine. And it finishes 15 and a half by 42 and a half. Um, and the kit includes the pattern and all of your fabrics for the quilt, quilt top and binding. So that's a pretty, just real traditional. Would be beautiful yes. on a, an entry table, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's a new project we have in. And we've got lots of stuff in the store and still Christmas okay. things. We do to buy and to <laughs> stock up for your stocking stuffers. And so we appreciate you joining us this week for Table Talk and look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.